I don't know about you, but I am starting to feel that itch. The slightest little cool breeze on the back of my neck and I immediately start thinking about chasing these majestic white-tailed deer and making memories in the woods this season with friends. I am excited, but one of the most important things I believe we have to do is dial in our system. Check out our gear, make sure we have it ready to come efficient. Welcome to Gear Season 2024. What's up everyone and welcome to this episode of Revive Outdoors. This is our inaugural Gear Season 2024 episode and I'm excited to do this with you. We're going to do a standoff between Long Wolf Custom Gear 0.5 the XOP stand and the Elevate stand, I am pumped. I have used all of these stands this past season so I can give you an in-depth review and just my opinion on them. And I'm excited to dive into the details. If this is your first time jumping on our channel or if you're a returning viewer, just wanna say thank you so much. If you have not heard about us, our name is Revive Outdoors and we are a nonprofit here in Alabama. And our mission is to make a positive and eternal impact through conservation. We partner with the state DCNR here in Alabama to teach hunting 101 workshops. And then we take those mentees on a 101 mentored hunt out in the woods to deer or turkey hunt. It's a lot of fun. We've hosted and mentored over 300 adults since we started in 2020. It's a huge impact that we're making. If you would like to support us, we have a fundraiser going on right now at reviveoutdoors.org where you have an opportunity to win an Illinois deer hunt, an Illinois whitetail hunt, uh, Alabama rut hunt, uh, Arkansas duck hunt or a gear giveaway. So be sure to jump onto reviveoutdoors.org to support us in that way. And then the three companies I want to tell you about is Spartan Forge, Native Sense, and Buzzard Roost Saddles. Those three companies, I'll have links for them down in the descriptions. They have been a supporter of Revive Outdoors since the beginning. All great people, great to work with. They love what we do. We love what they do. And it's become a great partnership. So if you're looking for an awesome hunting app, if you're looking for the best dopey dudes in the business go to native sense spartan forge for the hunting app and then buzzard roost saddles for all of your saddle needs they have an awesome saddle kit um, on all those websites you can put in code revive all caps and that will get you a discount so thank you to them for supporting us but let's jump into what you came here for and that's this episode the ultimate standoff The first thing that I wanted to do in today's video is just go through some specs. So as you can see, I have my tape measure here. Um, I wanna go through some just uh, specs on the seat, the post, the stand platform itself, because I know that a lot of you love those details. Um, you can also, if you are looking to make a purchase on maybe a different stand that doesn't uh, is not featured in this video, a lot of times what I've seen people do is they lay out uh, just a piece of flat cardboard, and then whatever stand you're looking to purchase, you can measure out the dimensions and kind of mock it up, and then stand on it on that piece of cardboard so it gives you an idea of how big that platform is. Uh, of these three platforms, my favorite is going to be the Elevate Stand. Um, this is their Ultra Stand, so this is their most lightweight, compact stand. Same thing with XOP. This is their retrograde lightweight stand and then the 0.5 is their smallest stand as well. Uh, my personal favorite is going to be the Elevate and I'll get into those details of why when I get to that stand. But looking at from the tree out um, is a way that a lot of people measure. For me, I know I'm not going to have my feet in that close so I'm kind of looking at where these cables come in and where they're going to measure from there and where I can get my feet. So if I was really able to push my feet, so I'm going to go and measure these off the front of the seat post. So when I measure from the front of the seat post on this the long of custom gear 0.5 is 18 and a half from the front seat post on this it's also at 18 and a half a little bit more uh, 18 maybe three quarters and then on the ultra here you're looking at let's see let me put it on the seat post you're looking at about 20 and a quarter inches so that's going to be the the I guess the depth or the length out. And then when you're looking at the width, most people are gonna have their feet right as where the cables come down. They're not gonna push them back like I do a lot of times. So I'm gonna measure at where those cables are. You're looking at 17 inches on the width of the Ultra. You're looking at 13 and just under three quarters. So 13 and five eighths on the retrograde. And then on this 0.5, 
you're looking at 16 and a half. So going back over here to my favorite, the reason that it is my favorite is because it offers the, the longest and the widest platform. So when you have your feet up on it here, you have a lot of space, especially when you flip this seat up to come in. And where it's a little wider on the, both the XOP and the long of custom gear stand as you move in, this narrows out, but nobody's gonna have their feet you know, outside of the cables. Um, so the cables come in, but it still allows your feet to be comfortable there without any kind of cable pinch or anything. But you have a lot of space to move around on this platform. So that's why it's my favorite out of all the platforms. And then when you're looking at the seat post height, all of these, except for the XOP, come in a standard seat post height. So seat post height, I'm gonna measure this actually to where the seat uh, comes in and meet, it meets the bottom of the seat. So if you're going from the base of the platform to the bottom of the seat, the Elevate stand is gonna be 18 and a half. This 0.5 that I have, which is a Gen 1.5 to the bottom of the seat, is gonna be 17 inches, so it's gonna be a little bit shorter. And then this retrograde is gonna come in at 17 and a half. Um, when it comes to seat post height, one of the big things that a lot of people want to pay attention to is when they sit down on a stand, what is the angle of their legs? So if you are a taller guy, you want to have a higher seat post height because you don't want to be crunched up like this. Um, and then if you're a shorter guy like me, you don't want your legs to be down because then that seat is going to pinch into your leg and cut off circulation. So you always want to have in general about a 90 degree angle on your legs and when I sit on any of these personally um, I'm a little bit higher because of the seat pad on the XOP compared to the Lone Wolf Custom Gear and then when I move over here to the Elevate I'm a little higher as well um, so I uh, I am comfortable in all three of these stands I have no issues in any of them I've uh, been very happy and then uh, with Lone Wolf Custom Gear like I pointed out uh, in the beginning talking about seat posts is they have it to where you can customize your seat post on their website. I'm not sure how many different choices that they have on their website but if you're a taller guy I know that you can get uh, uh, you know a, a taller seat post on there and then when it comes to seat options on these stands, um, I'm, I do not believe on the XOP that you can change out the seat. I know on the Lone Wolf Custom Gear, you can go with a larger seat, and with the Elevate, you can go with a larger seat. Uh, for me, the uh, Elevate that I'm sitting on here, the seat that it comes with is extremely comfortable and it's the perfect size for me. I am a smaller guy, I'm five foot nine, and depending on, like I always say, how many honey buns I've had depends on how uh, comfortable the seat can be over a season. But uh, it fits my butt just fine. I, uh, I like it. Um, moving over to the XOP, the retrograde, it's the same thing. It uh, fits my butt just fine and uh, it does what it needs to do. The foam on it's really well. On the 0.5, um, the original 0.5 seat that I had on this, I took off. It was not comfortable at all. It was too small. Um, it was too narrow for my butt, so I felt like I was sitting on one butt cheek all the time, uh, and it was very uncomfortable. So I changed that out for a 1.0 seat. Um, I would highly recommend that when you're going in there and you're configuring your Lone Wolf Custom Gear stand, if this is the, the direction you decide to go, to change it out to a 1.0 seat just like I have. If you get to a bigger seat, 0.75, it starts coming out a little too far and taking up some of your foot space. So I personally like this, uh, this 1.0 seat on here. If I had to rate the padding on these seats, I would say that uh, the Lone Wolf Custom Gear is the least comfortable. It, over time, it compresses. Um, this is a, a Gen 1, so maybe they've made the seat padding better since then, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they have or not. Um, and then I would say uh, equal, comfor e e equal comfort on both the XOP and the Elevate stand. Uh, a really good quality foam on the Elevate stand and the XOP. Um, for guys that maybe weigh a little bit more, um, it seems like this XOP seat would probably hold up. Seems like a little bit more denser of a foam, which, pro foam, which probably means it weighs a little bit more. Um, but overall, uh, I can get by with all three of these seats, but from least to most, it's gonna be least is gonna be long with custom gear, and then most is gonna be XOP and Elevate. Um, and then when it comes to 
the, the rest of the stand when it comes to setting the stand. Um, if you're familiar with how you set these stands is you want to toe hook these stands. So you want to put your knee on the seat, uh, bear hug the tree, and then you just pull it off, toe hook it, and then put it back down. That'll give it a really firm base so you can put pressure on the sides. Um, if you're wanting to put actual true side pressure where you're over here, I'll show you from the ground here. If you're wanting to put actual side pressure on it, that's when you're gonna wanna add the bottom strap to these stands. So they all come with, um, or you can get added. I don't know if Lone Custom Gear still has theirs coming with a, a second uh, standoff there. But um, that bottom standoff is for those that maybe want to do like a side, like a side pressure. Like if you're a saddle hunter and you want to go around the tree, um, you want to put that bottom strap on this. But if you're just like me and you're hunting from the tree as normal, you can uh, just put one strap on it and it's just fine. But you can see if you're wanting to put side pressure on any of them, they're just going to move a lot when you put that side pressure without that extra strap. Um, but that is pretty much everything as far as the facts go. Um, I will measure the seat for you just so you have an idea on the seat pad that comes with these. Um, you're looking at 10 and a half by seven on the Elevate. You're looking at 11 by seven on the XOP. And then with the, up, the changed out 1.0 seat, you're looking at 12 by nine and a half. Um, the seat again on all of these are fine for me, but uh, I really like changing out from the 0.5 original seat that had on it to the 1.0 seat. Uh, if you have any questions as I went throughout this video and I'm not answering them or you, uh, you say, hey, you missed something, please comment below, add that for the viewers who are watching so we have that in the comments. Uh, I'll have links to all of these stands. Uh, I'm not sure if any of my codes are still active from last year to this year, but uh, I'll put them there just in case they are. I'll try to touch base with those companies and see if they still have those. But uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move these stands over to my truck tailgate, and I'm gonna show you how the sticks get are situated on each of these stands and how you can put the sticks on it. That's some of my, my favorite things to pay attention to is how the whole system works. So how the, the stand system as a whole works because the stand is just one part of the entire system with the climbing sticks. But let's get these over to the tailgate. That way I can show you how the sticks get situated on these and make it a full system. All right, I have all the stands moved over here to the truck tailgate. One thing I've realized, I forgot my scale. I know that all of you wanted me to weigh these with the stand, the transport systems, or backpack straps, whatever you wanna call them, the sticks. Uh, and I do apologize. Um, we can guess the weights if we want to in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think these weigh. Um, my big thing is a feels like weight. And so feels like the Elevate, even though I think maybe advertised as the heavier stand, um, it actually is a feels like weight uh, that's, it feels less than when I pick, when I pick up these other two stands, this feels like less weight. And that's because the way that they have designed these stands, it puts the sticks closer to your back. And anytime you have anything closer to your back, it's gonna feel like less weight and so that's why I'm a big proponent of sticks that are inside against the stand and not on the seat post. Uh, with these other two stands the only way that you can put them on with the double steps is on the seat post. So I really like that Elevate has made that a low profile and so it feels like less weight. Um, of course you start stacking stuff out here on the seat shelf which all of these have a seat shelf which is great. If you're going to buy a stand trust me you want a seat shelf. Uh, once you have a seat shelf on your stands you will not go back. Um, but yes that is what I am looking for is the feels like weight. Um, maybe the weight's less on some of these versus the Elevate stand I don't know but I'm looking for the feels like weight myself. Uh, flipping these stands over let's talk about the transport systems. So the transport systems on the XOP and the Elevate stand and then the Lone Wolf Custom Gear stand um, I, I just want to touch base on. The Lone Wolf Custom Gear stands they come with backpack straps they may not come with the, the actual back 
pad. I can't remember if it comes stock, you know, standard on it now or not, but uh, if it doesn't, do not spend the extra money on it. I've ran it for uh, a couple seasons, maybe three seasons, and it's terrible. I don't know why I didn't call Matt at TX5 and switch to the TX5 suspension system a long time ago because it is the best. Uh, I've heard it's the best, and I just kept putting it off, putting it off. Uh, finally, uh, we chatted. He sent me some to try out, and they're amazing. So if you're looking to go purchase a uh, backpack suspension system for your stand, TX5 is my personal favorite. Um, and the, uh, the Gamma Transport system that XOP has, I think it's great. Um, one thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have any breathability. So uh, it's just, I don't even know, I probably just made up a word there. But it doesn't give you the opportunity to breathe. I don't care if it's summer or the dead of winter, your back will sweat like crazy with this thing. It's padded, it's nice, it has the adjustment features. I have a whole video on it, as well as the TX5 straps on the Elevate stand. Um, but uh, you can go check those out if you wanna learn more details about those. But for me, uh, I really like the TX5, which Elevate had, TX5 make theirs. And then I always have a pouch on all these. The Gamma Transport System comes with one, and then you can add one with the Molly on the TX5. But I always like having my straps ready to go so I can pick a stand up. Uh, out of my truck bed and go to the woods and I know I have everything in it as long as I have my safety harness with me but uh, overall when it comes to you know hey Taylor what is your favorite stand you know I, I it's it's a hard decision for me to make honestly because um, I've been running the Lone Wolf Custom Gear 0.5 for several seasons now um, since the day that it came out I've pretty much owned one and it is a very enjoyable stand for me it's something that uh, when it comes to uh, my favorite, there's probably some personal bias in there because I've used and put more hours into the Lone Wolf Custom Gear 0.5. I have it dialed in. I have the Genesis 3D printing Bundys. I have Amsteel from uh, custom, custom Amsteel products. I have the kayak pad that my buddy Bobby gave me. Uh, you know, I've, I've customized this even more than it came. Uh, I have the, the padding on the sticks so it doesn't make any noise. You know, it's I've put a lot of hours into this stand. Um, the least favorite I can tell you is, if I said least favorite, because they're all, I'll enjoy all of them and I can hunt out of all of them. So probably my least favorite is going to be the XOP just because it's difficult to get the sticks on it and off of it. So as far as feels like weight, it feels like more. It's kind of a pain to get the sticks on and off of it. But I would say that probably currently my most favorite is going to be the Elevate Stand System. And the reason being is because it looks awesome. Uh, the Mossy Oak Bottomland is sick. No, that's not really why. Uh, I, the plain one's fine with me with Elevate. But it does look cool and it does hide a little bit better. Uh, where I had it on the tree, it took me a minute to find it. I finally saw my aiders hanging off the tree because uh, it was difficult to see the sticks in the stand up there now that it's it greened up and I went out there to get it this past week but um, I, I love that they have it to where these sticks they sit in here nice and neat um, they have this little U shape here that Versa button goes right into it and voila it's on there um, it's uh, overall a great stand uh, I love how they've designed the foot space on it the seat post height is great for me uh, the padding is wonderful. Uh, I just can't find anything that I don't like about it. Um, I uh, can find a few things on the XOP I don't like. I, uh, I don't really have much that I don't like on the Lone of Custom Gear other than double steps. Can't seed to it really easy like they can on this Elevate stand. So this is probably my new favorite. And then when I'm looking to spend money really anywhere, I'm looking for people. Uh, if they align with my values, that's always a bonus. So Brittany, Jared, Josh, the whole Stubbs family are phenomenal human beings. They're phenomenal people, and they align with the same Christian values and beliefs that I do. So that's a big thing. When I'm looking to spend money, especially on these stands, I mean, you're looking at stands that are $500 plus, plus sticks. I mean, you're looking at, you know, roughly between a maybe $750 to $1,000 setup if you're looking to get into the mobile game and go with the stand. I tell you, bite the bullet in the beginning. Don't start low and then try to work your way up. You're just not going to go, you know, buy the best from the get-go uh, would be my advice. But my personal favorite, just because of so many reasons that I've already said, is going to be the Elevate stand um, uh, option here. They have many options that you can check out. No, they haven't paid me. No, they haven't done anything incentivized me to say that. This is just my personal favorite from running them. And then also just they are great people. 
and uh, I just want to support great people who are Christians and uh, are in the hunting space making a, a positive and eternal impact like we are at Revive Outdoors. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please comment. If there's anything that I forgot to mention or anything I said wrong, please comment and correct me so that way we can make this content better for those who come back and watch it behind you. Um, if there's anything that you need from me, be sure to reach out. Don't forget about our fundraiser at reviveoutdoors.org. You can rent an uh, awesome big buck hunt with... Uh, Bigger Bucks Outfitters in Illinois. You can win an Arkansas duck hunt. You can win a rut hunt with me or one of my team members. Uh, we'll get you on a big buck during the rut and film it for you. Or you can win an awesome gear package that we'll build out throughout gear season and be able to give away to you. But if you want to support us or support the companies like Spartan Forge, uh, Native Sense, or Buzzard Roost, we'll have all that information down in the description below. Click that. Thank you for watching this first inaugural edition of Gear Season 2024. We'll see you next time.